Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the DCTV crossover for this year. So we're going to be talking about some new Elseworlds crossover photos that have been released and also some information from the set. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So I've got some quick news to actually talk to you guys about before we start this video. Tomorrow I'm actually going to be shooting my short film and it's a psychological psychological horror short film and if it all turns out good I'm going to be uploading it on this channel and hopefully I can maybe release like a little teaser trailer because the short film obviously isn't that long but I can put together a trailer of sorts because I think you guys would like to see it and I would really like to see some feedback on this film because it's my first proper like full-on film I made films before but this is like I've put a lot of effort into it I've written this all over the summer and I'm finally getting to do it so if it turns out good be sure to be on the lookout on my channel also on my Twitter stay up to date at the DC TV show so anyway guys let's get right into this so the photos today are coming from various sources and my main source is Canada graphs and you guys can go check out the blog page where you can see all the other photos and all the information in text form where you can read it and they were able when they were on the set in Vancouver to get some very very interesting photos and these photos depict a standoff with Barry being taken hostage by black suited Superman Man, as our normal Superman holds the book, that book that we keep on seeing repeated in these behind the scenes photos and we saw the monitor holding in his poster, essentially what's going on is it's a standoff between Superman, Supergirl and Green Arrow as Green Arrow actually draws on black suited Superman who is going to be one of the villains of the crossover and in this scene according to Canada Grass, Barry tells Oliver not to attack and then black suited Superman lets Barry go then he claps his hands together a huge boom goes off that creates an explosion behind that glass which I'll talk about in a minute with the Superman emblem and then he goes and steals the other book from the normal Superman and flies away so that is the scene that they were shooting the other day and I'll talk about some other things in a minute we get to see the photos outside of where they normally shoot star labs so this emphasizes the idea that we're going to be on another earth sometime in this crossover because this is where star labs is supposed to be and in this case we have a massive Superman logo and it seems like in this version of whatever they're doing in this earth Star Labs doesn't exist and it's all about Superman and this is most likely where Black Superman is actually located so that is really interesting and it's just really exciting to see these scenes with the villains actually interacting with our heroes on the set and obviously it will be in the episode and the last thing that I wanted to talk about in terms of the crossover is that we have our first official look at Gotham City in the crossover and this was released by Mark Guggenheim who shared with us our first look at the city at Wayne Enterprises and they are actually shooting in Chicago so this is the first time the shows have ever shot in America rather than Canada because they shoot in Vancouver and they're shooting in Chicago right now to capture Gotham City and you can see there's a GCPD officer and you can see Bruce Wayne's building obviously but that is about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later goodbye